paint job day. Well, hack it together paint job day. So, uh, I actually cleaned up a little bit in here, not too crazy. I'm in a t-shirt because I got the heat on high in here. I'm actually really spending the dollars. Uh, I'm going to wipe down this door with some reducer because it's got some grease and oil stains on it. And then uh, I got just some, uh, whatever, like some lay down for if you're like painting your house type thing, whatever that's called. That's like very buried but thin. I think I'm going to mask up the trunk through that line up around the glass and this kind of whatever on the top. And then this side will do the same. Kind of get it around there. And whatever, we'll blend it in this area where we can beat it all up. And then down the door, so that'll be easy. And I'm not going to worry about the front too much. And yeah, start fogging or green. I mean, really, don't want to overthink this. So if that's what you want to see, click that subscribe button. Otherwise, uh, watch me prep this thing in fast motion. Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, we've got the old girl masked. So I just kind of jammed the, the paper or whatever you want to call it, the vapor barrier. In the trunk, kind of slammed it, masked up on the line. This is just kind of a miscellaneous. I'm just going to kind of blow her in there. We've got the window all taped up. I couldn't figure out how to get the mirror out and I stopped caring, so I taped her up. We went down, so we're going to do the door quarter. I didn't mask the uh, rocker. I might just blast this rocker while I'm at it. <clears throat> didn't even clean it. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, on this side, this is where the conundrum is. I mean, I just kind of masked it and I kind of rolled the tape to give it not a hard line. I'm gonna again try just to kind of blow into here and we'll just kind of scuff that up, make it look all beat up on the top. It's got a dent and stuff in it. And then we'll go down there. And then I think at the front, the rocker needs to be done and so is the jam a little bit. But I'll do that, I got the spray bomb. So they made the paint, uh, I gave them the paint coat and I dropped off a piece of the quarter panel, actually. And they did a couple of test sprays. They kind of adjusted it from there. So, again, the paint looks a little... I mean, God, is that ugly, eh? But uh, it's clearly the right shade of what the kind of car would have been, I guess, when it lightens up. So, whatever. It's very metallic-y. The rest of the car is not. I don't think there's a lot of paint to... Paint left, we can kind of get Murrow over here and polish her up. After I was talking to Murray, I was talking to him on the old time lapse. He's coaching me through it like a karate kid here. So I guess pressure's on. I'm going to crank the heat again. It's uh, 17 degrees in here. I like it a little warmer than that. And uh, get the paint kind of mixed up. And we'll try and put it on. Hopefully I don't screw up too bad. Yeah, if it all goes to shit, we'll scuff it. It'll be primer. What's the big deal, right? Yeah, I'm excited. It's been a while. Since, well, I've actually never painted metallic. So that's a new one. So... I probably should ask for advice in like the last video instead of just winging it today. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video or something like that, but uh, enjoy!
Well, first of all, I think I'm doing pretty good. I haven't found a run yet. Just jinx myself. I'll probably get one. Uh, man, like even shiny. Look at that. That bodywork doesn't look half bad. I mean, it's got a big dint right there, which I left on purpose. This color is actually super nice. I really like it. Uh, ooh, we're, we're going to have our work cut out to make it look like that. It's the same shade, but that metallic in it. Woo! We'll see what happens. Up here, same thing. It's kind of blew it in. You can see all the little kind of, well, right there, little knots and all that. So I'll scuff those up. That's what I think a lot of this video will be, is me ruining this fancy paint. Yeah, look at that. I'm actually pretty stoked on it. You know, pretty darn good. You know, the door had a bunch of little dents, and I was like, eh, whatever. And, you know, a fresh coat of paint just makes everything look good. Up here, so you can kind of see where I stopped. I'm going to give it a little more. I mixed enough paint to do one more quick coat. So I'm just going to give this kind of a couple of minutes up. That's two coats on it. I don't want to put on too, too heavy and have it kind of run. Especially with the metallic, it kind of, it's weird. It goes on. And in the little kind of valleys, it, it almost gets dark. But as it dries a little bit, it kind of lightens up. And I know from experience, uh, many, many, many years ago, Mer did it, Mer's fault. I had a 67 Impala, and it was a gold. And there was a couple of spots right by the sail panel and stuff where the paint, it just had a drip. And it went from gold to almost a black. Like where I guess where all the metallic went. So uh, we're going to set up just for me 10 or 15 minutes. We'll put one more quick coat on. And I'll blast the heat and we'll let her set up. It's got activator and all that in it. So really it shouldn't take too long, I don't think. And I'll give it a few hours. But I want to unmask this thing and see what it looks like. I'm hoping it doesn't look terrible. Like, I like the color, but you can't... Well, it's actually not as bad when you stand back. The greens are the same. The metallic's a problem. And I mean, what are you going to do? But uh, let her set up. I got to go get some uh, real fine sandpaper. Because I'm going to kind of wet sand it, I think. Get through all the edges and take the shine off and everything, but uh, I gotta say, for whatever reason on this Dodge, it's because I'm gonna crush it in the end. I just feel like I want to do a good job in the bodywork, and it's coming out pretty good. But we'll be back shortly, and we'll be uh, loading some more paint on this thing. All right, it's still a little hazy in here, but I want to unmask. I got the door open. See if it'll uh, thaw a little. I like just pulling the, the tape off while it's still kind of tacky. Otherwise, always where you're going to tear the paint. So be real gentle, and we'll see how terrible it turns out. My confidence is high. You know the door? That's I was worried about the door, I'm not gonna lie, I thought oh it's gonna look terrible. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, I might have jacked it already. This is always Murr's favorite part, it's kinda lame doing it without him. Look at that. A green Plymouth. All green, no rust. Thank you. 
Oh, there. You guys see. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to uh, I take the rest of this off. It's still real tacky, so I want to be real careful. Well, I don't see any huge runs because I'm going to keep it somewhat warm in here. We'll get all the masking tape off. We'll do a little walk around so you can judge it up close and personal. Well, there we have it. Yeah, you can see like reflections in it. It's so nice. So it's still obviously, I mean, shiny as hell. So that's where I kind of blended it in. I think that'll, I'll be able to scuff that up and it'll dull it out for sure. The door's got some big dents and stuff in it. So that's going to be a good one. But this is what I was main concerned about. Uh, you know, it's definitely shiny and all that. But the color itself is actually uh, is actually pretty decent, so I can't complain too bad. And scuff that all up, nick the edges, do all those things. It'll be be decent. The big thing is you can see that reflection. Do my hair in this car. So I came up pretty good. Uh, same thing. We have a hard line right there, but that won't be so bad. And it'll be a hard line the whole way across. Um, I didn't paint the the brake light pieces or whatever the bezel yet. Anyways, I may do it. We'll see how it goes. This turned out not bad. Being able to kind of, I just kind of mist it over, so it's kind of dull and then shiny. So that'll be able to be kind of nice. I can scuff that all up; it won't be so bad. And so I just kind of blend it in there. I did open the door and I hit just in here, just now in the other coat or two, with just the spray bomb, just to get that kind of whatever. And so they'll scuff that up. But that's really it for now. Danielle made meatloaf, so uh, meatloaf's more important than uh, painting uh, dodges. So, uh, I'm going to let this kind of set up for a few hours, hopefully. Eat some meatloaf, maybe go get some uh, wet, dry sandpaper. I don't know if we'll get to it tonight or not. I see how long it'll take. It's still still soft to the touch. Uh, but, again, I put the activator and all in there, so it shouldn't be too bad. But, that's it. Let's see what this looks like with the door closed. I actually haven't done that yet. Well, you know, I mean, on camera, I'm looking at the screen. doesn't look too bad. We scuff that up, polish that up. Meet in the middle somewhere. Be good. So there you go. That was uh, really spent two or three hundred dollars. Maybe I said that. If I did, that's how much it was. And uh, I still have leftover paint. I got enough. I could do the door still and a few little spots. And uh, yeah, I, don't, I gotta say the green edge kind of grows on me. Maybe I'll actually paint this thing. See you guys in a bit. Well, it's a few hours later, uh, paint's still soft, so, you know, we're going to leave it for a few days and see what happens, but, uh, I ended up, I just, I steam sealed the trunk and I gave it a quick coat of the truck bed coating, which I like. I know these Dodges are probably supposed to be body color, but, you know, it was so rusty and just all scaly, I just kind of, well, I did what I did. Uh, so that's what I'm going to leave it for a night, and odds are I'll probably patina up the paint on another video. At the recommendation of Murray, so I should give it a few days, which my laziness is, uh, or my impatience, I guess, is really taken over. But, uh, so I think anyways, I mean, the car's together, it looks all one color, still big deal. I can, uh, I guess, do a transfer over the seat brackets, the little strengthening things. I can then put the carpet in, door panel back on, the seats in, make it look like a car again, put the wheels on, and the odds are I'll probably push it outside, because, uh... I'm bored of this thing. I want to. I got the 56 wagon here. I want to bring that in. I want to working on that sucker. So I think I'm gonna take a little Dodge break. We can sort out some motors and stuff like that. Let it sit for a few days. I can bring it back in, patina it up, or do whatever. But I need to know what I need on that 56. Got to start ordering some parts. But uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll slap this interior together. Well, it's the next day, and uh, I pulled the seats out of the freezer. You gotta, you gotta treat your seats. Uh, like these dodge seats just like meat if you just let them out they go bad they rot so you gotta you gotta freeze them uh, I pulled I bought this carpet kit a while ago for this thing so I pulled that out so I was thinking what we were gonna do let's put the door panel back together clean all the junk out put the back seat back we'll put the carpet in put the plugs in uh, I gotta weld in a little piece where the seats go uh, a little tab and kind of start putting this thing back together and then while well, we let the paint cure well it turns out I have no patience so we're still gonna do that. But I started working at the back here. I didn't like how shi the, the shine, the unshine was nuts. So I brought out some barrel pads and stuff. And this is kind of the desired effect. So it's duller. And I'm hoping I can dull this out a little bit. 
and we can just polish a little bit of both. I haven't really been working this too hard, just a little bit. The paint's hard enough I can work through it with. And then, like I said, this is what I'm going to do on the side, just kind of make it look shitty on purpose. But that's that's much more livable. It's definitely a different shade a little. It almost looks lighter. But when you put water on it, it does darken up. So I'm thinking a little bit of polish. It'll be pretty close. And I was messing around up here too, just so it's not... It's got a little bit more of a transition. So uh, that's going to work pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do while it's up in the air anyways, I'll finish off the floor. Uh, I got a seam seal underneath and put all the plugs in. And then I have the old floor. Like I said, I got to put a little brace or whatever it's going to be. Put the door back together. So I'll just kind of clean up in here, bring it back. I'm not going to put the carpet in 100%. I'm just going to lay it down there. Let it kind of relax and do its thing. Not put the jams in. Uh, or the sill plates, I should say. Just put the seats in so it looks like a car. Because I'm going to push this thing outside. I'm done with it for a little bit. Uh, I got to order some more parts and stuff like that. But ultimately, yeah, I'll work on that uh, wagon. The wagon's here and I want to work on it. So that's what we're going to do. So I got the interior all cleaned out. Um, I switched over these little braces. So they were, uh, this is the old floors I kept, so they were welded on. So I just matched where they were and put them in drilled holes. I took all the plugs out of the old floor uh, put them all in. They're old, so I had to lube them all up, jam them in. I'm just missing one plug on that side, but again, without the sill in, it'd be nothing to flip it over, put a grommet in. Uh, I put these little wire guards back in, which a few people were obsessed about. They're in, don't worry. So I'm just going to kind of give it a quick coat of black. I uh, get one more vacuum. And we'll set the carpet in there. Uh, probably just set the seats in. Maybe I'll put one bolt in or do something just so they're in there. Put the back seat in. I'm just going to leave all the hardware for the seat belts and all that. I'll get to that at some other time. Because uh, right now I'm lazy. But yeah, that's the plan. And uh, yeah, we'll close her all up. I've got the door panel back together. Clean it all up. Yeah, whatever. It's all together. The, I mean, again, this car is so, so ratty. Door panels are kind of unhappy and everything. But it'll be fine. And that box right there is uh, seat covers. So those will be uh, basically brand new right away. Yeah. So we'll get the interior all together. We'll put the wheels on it. We'll drop her down. We'll scuff up the edges. Make it look like a shitty ass hot rod. My favorite. And we push her outside and forget it even existed. Well, I fast forward a little bit. Dropped her down. Put the hubcaps on just because, man, do I love dog dish caps. Um, so we're still too shiny. I put the hood on. Because, like I said, this thing's going to go outside. It has to kind of look somewhat like a car. Get that out of the way. Look at that thing. Mint. Um, man, the carpet was, uh, it's junk. It's two-piece carpet. It's way too wide. It doesn't even really kind of fit or anything. So I jammed it in there and I just threw the seats in. I, I didn't, I didn't even film it because it was just like, well, I'm not doing nothing with this. Uh, I tossed the back seat in. I had, uh, the sill plates and everything's all in the trunk. So it's all there, but it needs, uh, it needs a little bit of time. Look how good that door closes. It needs uh, interior time, but again, let's put the seat belts in, do all that. I don't know what I'm going to do for a shifter yet. It is currently a column shift, but it was all disconnected, so hopefully all the stuff's there. I may end up putting a ratchet shifter or something in there, but uh, I mean, again, there's no motors, no transmission, there's no drive shaft, but it's a car. So we're going to just now, we're going to scuff everything up. I'm just going to go real light on it. I'm not going to go too, too crazy, just because I it, in my tiny brain... It just doesn't look right having shiny quarter panels on a car. But back here, again, it's, uh, we'll bring this back to life a little bit. We could even do a little clear coat or, or who knows what we can do. We can even bring some of this paint into that, give it a blend like we did here. But just having the shine off it will, uh, make it look a lot better. I gotta look at this thing every day. I, I really do like the shiny color though. We can just block out the rest of the car. It actually is, uh, kind of cool. The trim's on the bottom. It's just sitting there. We'll deal with that later as well. We're just trying to make this thing look like a car so the neighbors won't complain when it's sitting in the driveway. I also got a car cover coming from it, but uh, we'll set up the laps. We'll get her all scuffed up. Ready for the crusher? We'll bring it back.
it's all green all one color it's definitely a bit of color difference there but uh you know if this was when this is wet it kind of matches a little bit so i'm thinking we'll do a little polishing a little clear coating this still needs a lot more sanding because this part of the car does look a lot better shaped than the rest of the car but uh, i was losing interest and stuff like that and ultimately i can do it anytime and i kind of like how i still show up but it kind of Oh, the paint went all goofy when I was sanding it, so that kind of looks neat. So I'm going to leave that, but I want to get a little bit more red in the sail panel and along the edges and stuff. It's just tedious, and you really want to go slow while you're wet sanding, because you don't want to burn through everything. And the door, same thing around the, the lock and the handle and all that. Those areas you want to get beat up, because that's the side that would be beat up. So that's that. This side here, which is the quarter. I didn't even film this side, because I just kind of did it, and I didn't didn't go nearly as crazy on it because it actually was in decent shape on the top and the sail panel so it needs a little more love and uh it, the, the color contrast is, is harder on this door than it is here so maybe it needs a little more sanding or who knows what the other side turned out good this side needs a little bit more work like i said maybe a, some clear coat or some polishing or who knows i mean the other thing is the hood looks like a different color to me anyways than the fender so i mean this thing could have just been bastardized over the years and who knows what's what but it's all together it's rust free now we got a new floor in it the quarters are good actually you know i didn't even wipe those quarters down maybe it's just the residue giving it that kind of color but now we're just waiting on a motor and trans well i'm waiting on one so i got some feelers out i'm looking around we'll see what we can do but really the hard work's not mechanical it's easy right buy the part put it in this thing, if I had all the parts, I think it'd be a week away from a runner and, and driving and everything. So I'm not too worried about that. We still got lots of winter time left. We're going to shove this sucker outside. I'm going to bring that wagon in, which I'm sure you've seen by now, the 56 wagon. I got lots of ideas and uh, I want to start working. I just love these tri fives. Dodge was good. The Plymouth was good, whatever. Well, now this restored Plymouth, what do you think it's worth? Like twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000? Maybe it's a brand new house? Whatever. That's where we're leaving this for right now. We'll be back in a few weeks. If you guys really want to see it earlier, uh, leave a comment. It's nothing now to switch cars around. This thing rolls nice and easy. And yeah, we'll get going. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate every, uh, every one of you guys that subscribed to the channel and left a comment. You guys are all rock stars. And yeah, we'll see you on the next project.